you look at the total picture of the environment here in Southwest Virginia and down into the Southeast, you've got one of the richest biodiversity spots in the entire world. This is a pheasant shell, Actinonias pectorosa. This is the species that we've been the most concerned about with the die off in the Clinch River. And so in 2016, before we saw the major problem emerge, we had approximately 94,000 pheasant shell mussels that lived in a 200 meter stretch of the river right behind me here. Now, as of 2019, we have less than 14,000 pheasant shell that live in that same stretch. That means that this mussel has probably only been dead for 24 to 48 hours at the most. First and foremost, you'd lose that water filtering effect. So all the stuff that's in the water that gets pulled down by mussels and transformed into food for everything else, that effect would disappear immediately. And so you'd have cloudier, more turbid water. You'd be more prone to algae blooms. One of the first questions that comes up when we tell people we have dying mussels is, could this be caused by climate change? Is this due to pollution? And the answer is probably always somewhere in the middle. Even if we pinpoint a single specific pathogen or disease that is the reason that the pheasant shells are dying in the Clinch River right now, there's probably more to it than that. 